Yeah, so Trade Secrets is a band. We're just starting up right now. Um, I play guitar. Um, we got a singer, Lucas Worley. He uh, is, I guess, I don't know if Artifacts is done. I I think they're on hiatus. They're they're all growing up, but yeah, so <laughs> he's, he's used to singing Artifacts, still mate. I don't, I don't know if they're going to Questionable, do yeah. I think you have to talk to them. And then uh, Zach uh, McLean, he's from Icarus the Owl. And uh, yeah, we're just, uh, we all became friends through the years through touring and music. And uh, the three of us always kind of just had similar tastes in music and ideas and art and all kinds of stuff. So um, basically, Trade Secrets kind of came out of during COVID, everything slowed down mm -hmm. and didn't really know what the future was going to hold with tides. Like people started having kids. I'm actually in London right now because Josh, our drummer, is getting married tomorrow. Aww. Actually today. Shout out to Josh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Tell him and, congrats. Um, <laughs> I will. I will. And yeah, so it's just like everything, you know, life comes. Sure. Hits you. And I'm just... I got to write music and play music and I, it's just something that I have to do. So, um, yeah, just kind of stars aligned and Lucas started hitting me up and sending me ideas and I started sending him ideas. And then he kind of just, uh, I was like, I hit him up and I was like, Hey, what do you think about meeting up at Voodoo Studios this winter? And he just booked a plane ticket. So I was like, all what? right, get this on. Oh my and God. That's pretty much how it happened. That's that's really cool. As being a fan, I, I want to say as being a fan of all three bands, I honor, ironically enough was going to like subliminally put like all of my vinyl <laughs> that I've collected over the years in the background as like, you know, momentous. And clearly I'm wearing a Ties of Man shirt, as I told Dan pre pre interview that, you know, I ran upstairs and I was like, you know, what am I going to throw on? And there was a shirt next to my cat over there. And I was like, Ties of Man shirt, definitely wearing that. Um but I have been I have been a fan collectively of all of the bands. I would say Artifacts is like, you know, I still think they are such an underrated band. And uh, yeah, when for sure. when Lucas, you know, like when I saw that you were posted about like guitar stuff and I was like, all right, this is great. I love I love that Dan's doing some guitar stuff. And then I did see Lucas start posting about stuff and I was like, OK, are these guys going to connect or what's going to happen? And, you know, I was just like, okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll never know. And then ironically enough, I'll give a shout out to, I, you weren't the first person that told me about trade secrets. I, my friend, Mike shout to, shout out to him. He tagged me in the post and was like, do you know this exists and you should know <laughs> it exists because you should try to do something with them. And so Mike, this is for you. Um, oh yeah, thanks, but, Mike. <laughs> well, Mike is Mike's a good dude. Uh, shouts to his band uh, Dora the Destroyer. So, love that dude. Sick. Um, but he he was like, man, you got to check this out. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, no way. There's no way that all three of these like <laughs> great post hardcore bands are all gonna collectively come together and form like what I would consider a super group. And <laughs> I was stoked so already, like, even before, like, I was like, oh, okay, Tides of Man, I'm like, I'm curious who's in the band, and then you posted about it, like, the other day, and I was like, holy shit, I'm like, Dan's in this band, so I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> Facebook message him and ask him to come on, so, uh, I was extremely stoked about it, um, and I think you kind of talked about it a little bit, Dan, about how it all started, um, I wasn't sure. Did Art Artifacts and Tides tour together? Is that is that correct to say? Or no, we never did a full tour together. Uh, we played one show together in Detroit. Back okay. In twenty sixteen, um, yeah, it was like this crazy show that was like a mix up, like a bunch of tours, like got routed through or something, or it was like a little mini festival. Oh, that's great. I know Slaves was there. Band Micah Relocate was there. Wow. All it. right was on tour with us um so it was like a really cool just like one-off kind of thing and a bunch of people were there and it was cool <laughs> that, that man if i could have been a fly on the wall at that detroit show because those are those are all the homies now so that's that's really cool yeah. um no, that's the cool thing that's the cool thing about music is like just those those kind of moments 
come and go and and you connect with a bunch of people and become friends and it's honestly it's like that's how this band exists you know yeah so certainly and like i that. and i know you guys have two singles out which by the time this comes out there will be a review reaction video because i haven't listened to them yet because i was re was actually going to come up here and watch them react and then you know obviously do my thing but then dan was just like why don't we just do an interview now so then it worked out but <laughs> um so i haven't listened to them which cool. post brandon will put some sort of text on here telling you if it's two thumbs up which i mean i already know it's gonna be good but on a scale of one to ten it's gonna be probably like you know a 13 or something but um, no, I like it. i'm really proud of it I, th I think it's good and like you know how is it kind of you know like you said you, uh lucas came down and flew to florida at the voodoo studio like you know when you know how was that process of working with lucas because i imagine like you said you were sending tracks back and forth uh, of like reworkings of you know what I would imagine to be trade secrets um, you know what were you guys kind of I guess intentionally trying to put together with the band are you are you guys do you have like an EP coming out or is these just like collective songs that you guys have worked on and obviously want to show to other people okay so real quick uh, just Voodoo Studios is up in Long Island in New York. oh it's in so Long Island okay so you went there to meet up Gotcha. And honestly, um, the whole thing with this band is there's no real agenda. We, we are kind of just, we're all creative people and we wanted to create something and we're just kind of letting it flow. Like we all, <clears throat> all three of us live in different parts of the country. Okay. So right now we have three songs done, mixed and mastered. We're going to release the third one very soon. Um, and we're going to film a music video in October. We're all going to meet up in Louisville, which is where Lucas is from. Correct, yeah. And, yeah, we're just taking it step by step. Um, ideally, you know, we all we all want to do music. But, obviously, it's it's a hard career <laughs> yeah. to make it in. Sure. So, yeah, so we're just doing what we can and keeping our hopes up high and seeing where it goes, you know. Yeah, and I think, you know, I think collectively you, like, you know, I think of, like, current tides and new tides as well, and you guys kind of obviously have, like, overlapping sound, and then Artifacts is kind of a little bit more, like, proggy kind of post-hardcore stuff, and then even same with, you know, Icarus, where it's very, like, I feel like you guys' collective, like, sounds and things, you know, what lend well to each other already and i feel like the writing style um you know from each band collectively seems pretty you know in tune with you know what i imagine the songs to sound like um you know in terms of you know people who maybe check out trade secrets and are like okay well they're obviously familiar with all three of those bands do you kind of want them to go into that mentality of like the, those are the bands that they're familiar with or you or you want people to kind of have more of a fresh perspective and be like okay obviously those are our collective projects that we've been a part of but this is a new endeavor for us to kind of like take on and you know evolve from i'm all for embracing whatever comes man like <laughs> people can approach it however they want i i think um you know that i probably coming from like the uh, the big change in ties when we went and became an instrumental band mm -hmm. you know it's like i kind of, i've kind of learned to embrace the unknown and kind of just throw sure just, you know just make honest music and hopefully it resonates with people you know and i'm sure that it'll find its audience in time you know yeah no and i think uh, i think you know obviously people like myself and i think other people that have sent me you know trade secrets i was like this was something that i was personally looking for and i hope that people who watch this and obviously check out you know the reaction video river review like i hope that it finds more people because like i said earlier about artifacts and the same with like tides and same with icarus is that those were all three bands that i felt like if i had to recommend a band that's a little bit like not to the atypical like post hardcore like you know run of the mill sort of stuff i would always recommend tides man i would always recommend like things that i felt like i you know 
resonated with me and obviously resides in my vinyl collection as well. Uh, and and so for me, it's like I, I've always appreciated all of those bands collectively and for the all those minds to be in one band now is just such a cool thing to me as a fan. Um, and And so I hope that people are like, go check this out because I'll leave links below to go listen to all, I imagine all most of the tracks will be out by the time this comes out so um, go check it out but I yeah when I saw that post I was like I gotta save this just yeah. because I, I need to I need to have that fresh like like awakening to like new trade secrets and you know what you guys have coming up and um, I'm really excited that you know I got so early in I feel like with tides i got in i would say pretty early on artifacts was pretty early on as well and i think icarus was a little bit different where i i think i got into them um a little bit later on and so for me this is really cool to be like early like an early adopter to trade secrets you know i yeah. feel like this i feel like i'm on the ground level you know <laughs> yeah no this is definitely the beginning this is the first interview i've done and um yeah, man, I, I, it's just really special for us, too, like, um, just because what you were saying, like, but as musicians, I, we, I think we all have, like, a real deep and uh, just a deep respect and appreciation for what each sure. other does. Like, I remember that show in Detroit, watching Lucas sing, and it's just like, dude, he's so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. I've always wanted to work with him, you know, and, and it just, you know, just because the way life and time evolves just happened, you know, so. Sure, sure. It's super cool. And then with Zach, I know, obviously, he's the basis for Trade Secrets. You know, I, I imagine that Tides and Icarus may have had their touring, you know, maybe, I know you guys have probably played shows together, I imagine, or, you know, been familiar yeah, with each other. Yeah, we actually did a tour with. We did a tour with Icarus the Owl, and Zach was super cool on the tour. And um, one thing that's cool about Zach is he's bringing a lot of um, some ambient textures to the new music. Okay, nice. Um, he does a lot of, like, analog tape loops and synth stuff that adds a, a lot of dimension to the new song. And it, they, the songs really came alive when he threw those layers on, so I'm like... Super stoked to have Zach, and he can sing. He can play piano. Yeah, He's talented and very very nice guy. I yeah, I can't agree. I've met the Icarus guys; they're all cool dudes as well. Um, For sure. In terms of getting Zach on board with trade secrets, like how much, how for for along in like the pr process was like Zach kind of introduced into it because i know like you said you and lucas had been kind of sending songs back and forth to kind of be like hey this is what i'm working on and lucas was doing the same thing so well, i guess when did zach kind of come into the fold of you know doing trade secrets uh when lucas did they, they were kind of like a package <laughs> they, they have i'll let them announce that but they have their own uh project that they're working on too that okay that um uh, like, that's the thing, too, is, like, um, I feel like bands are so rigid with what they are and what they do, and we've kind of, like, that's one thing about this band is I want to kind of deconstruct that idea of, like, what a band can be or something like that in a way. Just, like, it's... Like, it's more of, like, a collective mindset where we're just, like, coming together and making something. Like, that's really okay. what we're trying to do. And um, and we're calling it Trade Secrets. And, yeah, it is a band that has members, but, um, like, we want to invite, like, more collaborators in the future and make it more of an open thing not so many walls up you know what i'm saying i got you yeah it's more of a like revolving door of like okay these are you know obviously those the, you guys are the core members but then there's also like more collaborative you know parts of the band where um you know obviously you can have different people come in and do different things on a track um yeah which, we'd like to do more we do like to do like features get some 
some of our friends on songs, like collaborate in songwriting and all kinds of stuff. Like I don't know, like we'll see what comes. But yeah, the I think the main thing was just like get some music out and get it in people's ears and go from there. Get them to pay attention. Yeah, <laughs> I and I'm excited because I do. I I think that like you know obviously I think it gives a bright future to what trade secrets is because. I've always had this, th- you know, ideology or notion about music where, you know, like you said, there's so many walls where people are like, okay, this is my band. This is who has to be in the band. Like this, this is like, you know, it's, I, I feel like, and even and not only think, that, even like, and even like scenes and genres, they're so rigid. You know what I mean? It's like the same bands tour with the same bands over <laughs> and over again. And it's like, I never understood that, man. It's like there's a there's a whole world of music out there. It's like, like you can do so many things. You don't have to do one thing. Yeah, I think I kind of find it akin to, like, how rap albums have a bunch of different features on them, right? And how yeah. very, they're very collaborative, and like, or they have like people do like different beats or you know you have a different producer do a different song or however you want to go about it there's different there's different modes of you know obviously how those songs kind of make it onto a record i find it very similarly to like you know what polyphia is doing on their upcoming record where they have a bunch of features from like people who are like more pop artists to like they have chano moreno you know from deftones on like one of the songs which is like insane to me and i think that that's I'm hoping I'm it opens Olympia. I'm hoping it opens up more doors for people to just go out and do different things that aren't so like barrier to entry, I guess. Yeah, exactly. They're I Polyphia is a great example because they're so forward thinking and they're like that's not they're kind of I don't know, man. They just they just do being in a band differently. Then yeah. there's something I very much respect about them because of it, like they they are their own beast and they don't they're not chasing any trends it's like i don't know that's to me that's so cool and that's like i want to do that in my own way you know what i mean sure yeah no and i and i hope that that kind of i hope that this interview hopefully opens up more doors for those those sorts of collaborations to happen because i think if anything it makes it more interesting for me as a listener and a fan to be like okay well you know this is an artist i love what if they did a song with this or like, you know, what I've been seeing a lot recently and it kind of segues into the next question I have for you, Dan, ironically enough, is that, you know, I've been noticing a lot of bands doing like split EPs and stuff, which I think is great. Yeah. And I love when two bands from like drastically different like genres come together. Like for example, uh, something that I've been really enjoying is the new alpha wolf and like holding absence EP split they're like hold holding absence is more of a like you know post hardcore kind of melodic sort of sound and alpha wolf's like this like stupid heavy like australian metalcore Mm -hmm. band and i think their their sounds obviously if you look at it from face value probably would never work together but the fact that they have an ep together because they're they have like become such good friends and they're like why don't we just record an ep together i think that's such a cool thing so is there any that's what i'm talking about man like that like those ideas are the ones that are cool to me like and it's funny too because split eps have been around forever i I remember one for me thursday did one with the japanese post-rock band or post-hardcore i guess band envy and that split was really dope for me and that actually was like one of the first times i heard like post rock um because thursday did some instrumental songs and i was like i dig this shit so yeah that probably had an influence on tides you know oh certainly certainly and i mean obviously like you said you want to get into that mode of like collabing with you know new people and stuff is there any particular band or like artist that you would love to kind of do maybe a split ep with i don't know man we got a lot of friends um got my friend Corey uh, plays in Bastard Deva, but he's doing some solo music now. It's super rad. Um, and then there's always like the dream bands, you know. Oh yeah, my my heroes. <laughs> but you know, we'll I feel see like, what happens. I feel like you guys. I know you mentioned them earlier, and also obviously major homies of the channel. I feel like 
I want to put it out in the universe, at least for, you know, for my own selfish reasons, but I would love to hear like a, a covet, like trade secrets oh, yeah. split. I feel like that'd be kind of rad. That'd be super dope, but that's amazing. So she's also very busy these days. Yes, she is. Endlessly on tour. And... Always on tour. I just saw them a couple months ago, three, two or three months ago now um on their headliner which was great so yeah if, that, if, you're, it. if you're watching this shout outs love you um <laughs> but it, it i feel like that would be really cool i i think that if that were if some if the stars were to align and that were to happen i feel like that'd be kind of I, I would be about that so i don't know if it's I'm gonna not. happen but it, it would be cool yeah, <laughs> that's what i'm saying like guitar i'd love to do guitar features or like like one like have like a guest band write a track and lucas sings or something i don't know like there's i i just want to get creative and collaborative with it and not worry about what other people think i just want to make shit that i love (laughs) well you're doing plenty of that i also got to give you a shout because i've been watching a lot of your uh like guitar like videos that you've been posting you know, honestly, it makes me a little like I, I look at my guitars over there off camera and I'm like, man, now I got to pick my guitar up. Like and then I'm like, oh, wait, it's one thirty in, in the morning and I'm watching this in my bed right now and I should probably be asleep because I have work tomorrow. So I I usually wind up, you know, combing through them and, and they're great. So I always got to give you give you a shout, Dan, because I've been really enjoying them. So and go follow him on TikTok because I I followed Dan on TikTok and good content you know so <laughs> yeah man i'm just trying i'm just trying to stay busy and i'm almost using it as like a catalog of ideas i'd like if i come up with a riff record it throw it up online and then it doesn't take up space on my phone i can just pull up that's my that's oh my god that's so <laughs> genius why did I, oh my god now i'm gonna i'm dan i'm sorry i'm gonna be taking that idea now because i i've really? i've noticed as guitar players uh I can never remember the shit that I write. Like I'll no, I'll no, record right. it on my phone and I'll be like, okay, here's where the capo's at one, and then like I'm in this tuning. I need I need the video because I oftentimes I cannot remember how to play the riff <laughs> that I wrote. <laughs> Same. That's that's why I'll usually have like I'm not even joking. I'll have like my phone like 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 stand up and then like basically like where the guitar neck is and i'll put my fingers and i'll make sure to do it really slow so i know exactly who my fingers are on the frets uh oh, that's what's up man guitar problems you know guitar yeah. <laughs> guitar player problems yeah, so. it's, it's fun man i love it so now i'll have to now i'll have to write competing riffs now um do it i but, challenge you <laughs> okay thank you dan i that's what i need i need the the swift kick in the ass to start the project but um but that's really cool, and I, I'm, I'm glad that you're keeping, like, a catalog of of those, you know, riffs on TikTok. So, again, go follow Dan. I'll leave links below in the description <laughs> and go follow him. But, um, you know, kind of in that same t- uh, term of phrase, Dan, in terms of, like, you know, g- going on TikTok and writing those riffs, do have had some of those riffs made it onto trade secret songs? Like, were those any any ideas that you collectively thought of, like, wind up making no, it onto a song? No, started... I started doing those after we already recorded the trade secret stuff. Okay. Um, and it's just funny. Like, <laughs> so I, cause I don't want to speak too soon before shit's out because I don't know what's going to happen with it, but we actually recorded six songs up in Long Island. Okay. And we're reworking there. The three that you're here, the three, or these first three that we're putting out are all like sonically pretty similar. Okay. They've they've all got a cohesive vibe, so it's kind of like a little mini EP, and then we're planning on doing another little mini EP of a kind of different sound. Um, but those songs are not done because we're re- reworking some of them, and just want to change up the vibe a little bit, and um, but I don't think it'll be too long before we put them out. Hopefully. Hopefully by January or something like that. Well, that's good. I'll be keeping my ears and eyes, you know, on, you know, all the social media because honestly, like, I'm very excited to listen to it. I feel kind of 
Nor- normally, I have some sort of barometer of how the band sounds, and I did hear some clips, you know, just on Instagram or you know on Facebook. So I, I, I have this, you know, the slightest idea of what you know trade <laughs> secret sounds like. So I don't, I, I'm not totally out of the woods, but you know, I'm excited to kind of get into it and be surprised by it. Um, in terms of like you know, the fans that have made it over from, like, you know, Artifacts or Tides or Icarus, like, you know, how has the reception been of Trade Secrets? Because I imagine, um, you know, for myself, like, it was a shock to know that, you know, you guys collectively are doing stuff. So I'm curious if other people maybe felt the same way or were stoked that you guys are, like, you know, a band and doing this thing. Yeah, I think, I mean, the people that have heard it have been really nice um I think it is, it's a new band, it's a new name, sure. new social media account. So it's, we're just at the beginning and only got like a, you know, it's only been streamed a couple hundred times at this point. So, well, hopefully like, more by the time this, yeah, this interview comes out. So that's a nice thing. We'll be trying to make content, music videos, stuff like that. Um, just try and keep it, you know, present in people's minds, keep it up in your feed. Yeah, I, I feel that because I, mean, I honestly, if if Mike didn't tag me in it, I would have just been like, okay, well, I would have inevitably saw you post oh, about it eventually. But someone someone tagged me in a post on Instagram the day we released with all the other new music releases, and it was like five pages of, with like a, sixty bands on each on each page. It's Dude, there's so much music these oh days, yeah it's amazing and it's amazing because you know people have access to recording gear and and it's easy to get your stuff up on spotify but man it's hard to stand out <laughs> well so. i would argue collectively all three of those bands are stand out to me so i feel like i awesome. i i feel like it's a disservice to me that i didn't know about this band sooner because usually i'm pretty you know i am usually pretty on the nose about that sort of stuff so it, i i do appreciate the people that tag me and stuff because i always like wind up finding out about these bands or i'll have people on like you and being like these are the bands that i'm listening to currently and then it, yeah, it's and such honestly, a cool thing and honestly i think those are the bands that really end up blowing up is the, is the bands that people share with each other you know what i mean like oh yeah like if it's good, people are going to be like, yo, listen to this. You know what I mean? Fair enough. So. Yeah. And so Mike, you know, Mike already knows my love for all three of these bands. So I feel like he was just like, this is a must. You you need to, you know. And so I appreciate awesome. I appreciate people like Mike. But, um, you know, kind of in the same term of phrase, Dan, um, you know, what are you currently listening to? You know, what what can you give a shout out to? I don't know. I'm all over the place. Um, <laughs> dude, I'm like, I go from like bad religion and like '80s punk to um, Russian circles to Tycho to Thrice is my favorite band. I'm always listening to them. Um, started listening. I don't know, man. Fuck. I was listening to 1975 the other day. Oh, nice. There you go. <laughs> I just, All over the I map. Like, yeah, I try. I'm, I, I love um, the last handful of Bring Me the Horizon records. I think they're fucking awesome. Um, I'm just, I just like music with guitars in it. If it's like hard and got guitars and maybe some ambient shit, then I'll listen to it and I'll probably love it. Well, honestly, I should give you this recommendation if you haven't already checked them out. Is loathe, they're great. All right, they're in my phone. I saved them. Do you, I, that is a must. To, actually, I have yet to put it on, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. You got to do it, and you have to <laughs> let me know because I'm not gonna lie. That is that's been my band for like the past like two or three years now, because they are just like such oh man they i i love the fact that they are such a band that has a heaviness to them that is just like god this is like brutal but then they also have like a beautiful like melodic like ethereal kind of to their music so i think they kind of cross both the t's and dot both the i's for me yeah. because i love like stupid heavy stuff and then i also love the like really beautiful ethereal stuff so i think they yeah, just cross the lines too. 
That's me too. I I really like uh, Bad Omen because of that too. Yes, yeah. I I listened to the newest record and I was very surprised at how how good it was. It's very good. And you know, no no diss to Bad Omens if you happen to watch this. Like I always felt like they were in the shadow of Bring Me the Horizon for like the longest time. Yeah, and they they got a similar vibe, but they're their own thing too. They've got they've got like this the weekend pop kind of vibe to them. Like, like the his, mel- like the vocal melodies and everything. Mm-hmm. I would agree. I don't know. It's just the whole record is just hooks. It, it is, and it's just it's really well written and really just good. Well, I'll give you plenty of recommendations, Dan. You can you can rest yeah, assured. Man. Another good one, Mood Ring, from Florida. Okay, they're very so good. I don't know. They're from Florida. And I don't even know them. They're very good. They're like, right. I'm trying to think of who what they kind of remind me of. It's hard to describe. They're kind of like dark pop, but then they're also like really heavy. So they kind of remind me a little bit of like, you know, Linkin Park kind of vibes. So they're like really chunky, but also at the same time, they've got some like real cool, like pop. Yeah, I would probably put them in the same kind of category as like Bad Omens where they're like in that sort of lane. But Mood Ring, also fantastic band if you haven't checked them out. Um, But... Let me know, guys, in the comments what you guys are listening to, as well as go listen to Trade Secrets as if that wasn't, you know, this whole thing wasn't just a, you know, ploy to go check them out anyway. (laughs) Uh, So go do that. Um, The next question I have for you, Dan, is a fun one. I've been having fun asking this one. Um, If you were to compile a musical supergroup, who would be in your band? Oh, shit. Um... I don't know because like there's a lot of directions it can go. I'll give you two different options. You can go like the real like whatever way you want to go, and then the other one can be the inverse of that. All right. So I think maybe like Justin Vernon from Bonavere doing like arrangements. Ooh. Okay. Um. I'm about that. I'm, I'm gonna get weird with it. The. Uh, I think his name is a Jordan from Bring Me the Horizon that does a lot of the yes, yes, it is Jordan. Deep yep, because that dude just like textures every everything that he's done on the the last few Bring Me the Horizon albums is just like so perfect. I would agree. Yeah. Um, his. I was just talking to someone about the band Toe, so I'm going to take their drummer. Oh, you know man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is <laughs> this is wild. All right. I like it. I like it, though. Um, My favorite singer, man, Dustin from Thrice. Wow. All right. Doing some right. soulful, soulful shit, and then Justin Vernon can uh, do some falsetto harmonies or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's I'm about. This just seems this seems pretty out there, but I'm about it though. It sounds super. I don't know. I think it. It's probably. I don't know what would happen if those musicians tried to write together, but I bet it would sound good. If I, you know, honestly, we would have to try to put that to the test. We have to. We'll have to figure it out. Or you know, I don't have the monetary fortitude to do that. But somebody out there is gonna watch this and be like, you know what? That sounds pretty wild. Let's do it. So. Yeah, I mean, maybe if Trade Secrets grows, I can get these collaborations going and get I'm some weird shit going. Bless. I would love for that to happen. So, guys, if you want that to happen for Trade Secrets, <laughs> let's make it happen. Um, the next question, Dan, I've also been having fun with this question. Funnily enough, someone I interviewed uh, gave me this question, so shout-outs to Gold Steps. They asked me this, and I felt like, you know what? It's the perfect question to add to the list. Um, but the question I have is, with bands kind of coming back and resurfacing, like, per- particularly um, one that I can think of more recently, Cartel. Shout-outs to Cartel. I'd love to have them oh, on. I didn't but know they were back. That's cool. They're, they're back together. Uh, if there was a band you could resurrect... What is there any bands that you would want to bring back that you're just like, man, it would just be cool to see them back and doing stuff? Um, can I bring up my Apple Music? Let me see. I think you can. 
Yeah, I got it open here. There we go. Look at that technology. I feel baby. like every band that broke up has gotten back together. <laughs> I it is, it is the year of like reunions. I feel. Yeah. Or so maybe possibly there, sticking together. You know. Dude, I've barely slept on this trip. My brain is <laughs> not. I feel like I've picked the most opportune time to just have the most messed up questions for you to answer. <laughs> Um, okay, a good one, As Tall as Lions. Ooh! That band, that band was too good for them to go out the way they did. Wow, all right. Yeah, that's a good one. Wow, all right. I'm about it. It's funny, because I, I would have a bunch of answers, but, like, As Cities Burn got back together yep. and did a record. They're Correct. one of my favorites, and Under Oath got back together. <laughs> yeah. It's done, like, two or three albums now, so it's like, it's like, who's broken up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, funnily enough, I could probably, gr I'll grab it real quick. Funnily enough, I have the poster for when they actually broke up back oh, yeah, in 20, to 20, 20, to the 2016. In so, and that city's burden was on that tour too. Wow. What a coincidence. You know, honestly, the only band that's on here that I would love to, that, that I saw that I'd love to get back together that was on that bill was let live oh yeah honestly that you know what that's a good answer that the first record they did uh, did they do any more any other records or just that one they did um on let me see they oh, did yeah, they, they, they did fake the history black the black is beautiful and then i think they did one more after the that. only one that i know is the first one with mother on it and that uh, like, oh, just that song. That song alone, so powerful. Let's see. I'm gonna look it up real quick so Dan and I don't look like idiots. Um, it is Fake History, The Black Is Beautiful, and uh, the other album is actually they did four, and really, yeah. So they did an album in 2005 called Speak Like You Talk, which I'm pretty sure, unless you're like an OG Let Live fan, you probably listen to that and then they didn't wind up getting i would imagine more notoriety until fake history which came out in 2010 black is beautiful came out in 2013 and then the last record that released before they you know the impromptu of breaking up um if i'm the devil is the one they released in 2016 so again classic okay. band so that yes, would be this is my crazy, choice man time time just goes so fast and like so like it's crazy how records that came out in 2010, like, to me, feel new new still. Oh, man. I think it doesn't... I, I don't think it quite hits me until a band announced. They're like, oh, my God, we're doing a 10-year tour of this album. And then I'm like, yeah. holy shit, this album's been out for 10 years already? Like, I the one that I saw most recently was uh, Shoutouts to Four Years Strong. Uh, Enemy of the World came out 20 years... 10, not 20. I'm going to complete it, i hope it's not 20 but it's 10 years it's, definitely it's probably 50 yeah maybe 10 or maybe 15 even 10 or 15 like, yeah, that's got to be around but that hurts my soul because i love that record 2008, and i 2009 and i remember when that first came out and now i'm like they're like yeah we're doing this tour i hope you uh i hope you guys like it and then yeah it came out in 2010 so it would be okay yeah, it would be 12, 12 roughly. Yeah, yeah, 12 years, which is wild. So, again, just makes me feel that much older and being in the scene for that long. Um, and, you know, obviously, like, I listen to I, – I, I don't want to feel like I'm shilling to you, Dan, because I did shill, I feel like, in the last interview that we talked about with Tides. But I still <laughs> listen to Dreamhouse – very oh. regularly so i want to say how much of a masterpiece at least in my personal opinion that album is so that's like one I of had, my favorites of all time i had nothing to do with that album i joined when they were releasing it <laughs> oh my but God. I, did, I did get to tour and play and play those songs which was really cool and every but... nothing's great too that's the that's the other one <laughs> That's the Thanks, other man. one that I love too. That one, I think it's just like for me too. It's like the dichotomy of like tides of man because I think about it as like okay, well, you know, obviously 
Dream House is like a fantastic record, but then I listen to every nothing and I'm just like, this is the same band that did Dream House, but somehow like again did something completely different, but just sounds just as good in its own like unique way. And so I, I love that the fact that you guys again, I know I imagine at the time it was probably very scary to go into that like post hot rock and like, you know, go into the you know instrumental realm, but I, I feel like you guys did it with with grace you know i feel like with young and courageous i was like okay i you know i'm feeling this but i'm like i feel like they could go even further and then yeah you did every nothing and i was like oh man this is great yeah man like i said earlier in the interview it's just like that that transition just kind of necessitated us to do what we did like like I don't know. We wanted to be a band and keep making music, and we tried a bunch of singers out. Nothing, just everything just kept falling through. And eventually, it was four years later, and we're just like, like all this music sounds good on its own. What if we, what if we made it a little more atmospheric and and we just went for it, you know? And, yeah, I agree, and yeah. I'm glad you guys and, went for it, you know. And so many good things happened because we made that decision, man. Like, got to the post rock scene, and especially like math rock and stuff is huge over here in England, where I'm at right now. And like, tons of festivals. So, we got to do lots of European tours and all that shit because of that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you never know. Like, just fucking do the thing and see what comes. Good things come, man. If you're, you're persistent. And I feel like, if anything, yeah. You're, you know, I feel like with, with trade secrets and just, you know, even with Tides of Man and in, you know, obviously what Lucas does in Artifacts and in trade and, and, you know, obviously, um, as well as, you know, Zach too, uh, and it from Icarus, like, I think this band just reminds me of how persistency, like, even if you want to still be in a band and you still want to do music is such a crucial thing. And it makes, I think it inspires me to continue doing what I do here and interviewing people because, you know, I feel like you could so easily give up on that dream of like wanting to do it. And there's probably days, I'm sure you can agree with this, Dan, where you're like, I want to fucking do this, right? But then you have like moments where someone's like, I love trade secrets. They're great. And then you're like, holy shit, this is great energy now. You know, I feel rejuvenated. Uh, Yeah, man. Like that's, that's such a big thing with me is like, I don't know, man. I, I have this thing in me that I have a dream and I want to do it. And it's, it feels like a betrayal of myself to not go for it. And, and if, you know, like, these days, there's so many outlets for creative expression or to, or to do what you want to do. Like, if oh, you yeah. want to do interviews, like, there's nothing stopping you. Like, it's you can make your own thing and do it your way and find your own thing. It's like, whatever you do, just just do it. Don't be afraid, you know? Take the, take the, take the jump, you know? And I, I always say that to other people who, you know, either want to start getting into interviewing or whatever – they're like, how'd you start out? And I was like, I just started doing it, you know, like, and I yeah. know that sounds cliche as shit, but like, it's the truth. Like, I just started messaging bands on like Facebook or on Instagram or whatever. And I was like, hey, like your music. I don't know if you guys would ever consider coming on the, you know, thing. Like, I'm almost positive that's how I met Dan doing Tides of Man stuff, you know. Yeah. I just DM'd them and was like, hey, so you guys are coming to Philly. I, you guys would like that would be like a notch off my bucket list if I could interview mm-hmm. you guys and then you're like yeah let's do it and then we did it and now it's up on my YouTube channel and I think that that's such a cool thing and that's honestly exactly if, what I'm saying man if you didn't didn't do it then it would have never happened but um, and then we wouldn't have been doing this interview here you know that's that's the that's beauty what I'm talking about it's like you never know like life evolves and twists and turns in crazy ways that you can't even imagine. And it's important to embrace it, not, you know, don't be scared of it, fucking, because amazing shit can happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, and, you know, I was talking with someone else. I interviewed, shout outs to Skaggs from Outline in Color. Um, I interviewed him a few days ago, and we were talking about how, like, you know, fear can keep you away from certain things. 
if you allow it to do it, you know, and I think it's such a, you know, obviously there is a healthy respect to having that, but also at the same point, like I think with doing anything creative, there is a level of fearlessness that you have to have to create something, you know, and put it out there because you are kind of like, again, putting your, your emotions or your words or like your instrumentation or wherever out to everybody to, you know, listen and well, hear it out. Yeah. And I don't even think fear, fear is normal. Like every time I, I'm about to put out new music, I'm scared. I'm like, dude, I, I'm anxious <laughs> as fuck. Sure. Yeah. But, was... but you just do the thing and let it be, you know what I mean? Like, like that's the thing about, you know, being courageous or anything is like, yeah, you might be scared, but fucking do it anyway. <laughs> like, What's the worst that can happen? You're going to look back on it and be like, man, I wish I really did it. That's what I always think to myself. And yeah. that's why I do it. So you that's, that's you one should thing. carry the same emotions, you know? Yeah, that's one thing that, you know, like, if I never tour again or anything, like, I can look back and be like, yeah, I did the thing. You know what I mean? So. And they did it great. Like, so uh, <laughs> that's, 100%. That's, in the eye of the beholder, I think. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, but I'm I'm happy with how things have done, transpired. I would agree. I think you guys have had this level of notoriety, and I hope that uh, I hope that Trade Secrets has that same sort of notoriety as well, um, which is like the perfect segue into you know the next thing dan which is you know what do you want people to take away from trade secrets i know obviously you do a lot of the you know guitar work in this band and things of that nature so obviously you can speak on the lyrical aspect of it but you know people who are checking this interview out and then ultimately going to check the band out what do you want people to know about trade secrets um i think the main driving force in this band is try what I think the main thing we're trying to do is actually kind of what we we're talking about before is just like persistence in in the face of adversity I guess I mean life is hard and there's a lot of reasons to be negative be sure. hurt you know um but life can also be extremely beautiful and rewarding and I think that's the main message of this band is just like that there's beauty in art there's beauty in sharing um, there's beauty in being open with other people and inviting them in and um, yeah I don't know like you know don't let the fear control you yeah. So, <laughs> I listen. You're you're preaching to the choir here, but 100 percent agree with what Dan has to say. And you know, I I hope that all of y'all that are watching this and listening to it, please go check out Trade Secrets. And I'll let Dan have the floor again. Dan, tell the people where they can find Trade Secrets at. What you guys have coming up in the next couple months. I'll give you kind of a time frame, Dan. This will be going out on the 14th of October. So. I imagine that maybe the last song will be out by that point. But if not, you know, tell the people where they can find you at to uh, keep up to date with Trade Secrets. Yeah, so we got three songs out by the time this airs. Um, and, yeah, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Music, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever the fuck you want to you wanna look. We're trying to be everywhere. And, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know just uh listen and i hope you enjoy well there you go well said it from the man himself dan if you've ever wondered what artifacts pareo tides of man and icarus or al sounded like if they were put together you no longer have to wonder because they are a band and they're called trade secrets so go check them out yeah. all of the links are in the description where they find out about trade secrets go give them a follow on you know all of the social media especially go give them a follow on spotify so you can be up to date of when they release new music much like myself so you know aren't left in the dark you know and don't have good for if you have good friends then you probably won't be left in the dark but if you don't 
I hope you find good friends first. And secondly, I also hope that you check out Trade Secrets. Uh, really stoked to see what this band is going to be doing. And, you know, I'll be keeping my eyes and ears out. So I'll let you guys know when new stuff drops. But um, if you enjoyed this interview, share, like, and subscribe. It goes a long way. I want to let everybody know here that I will now be releasing the... Um, interviews on audio so it'll be on spotify it will be on all of the podcasting things i know it's been a long time coming and people have been literally beating me into the ground to get audio <laughs> versions of it so now i've listened to the masses and now it's all on audio so go listen to it wherever you listen to stuff and just wanted to point that out so Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I uh, want to give a huge shout-out to Dan of uh, Trade Secrets for coming on tonight. Thank you, Brandon.